Hey everybody, it's Joyce here with the Cozy Comfort Series. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out to join me on this. Today I'm going to show you how to make my delicious pumpkin pie recipe, which is lower in sugar and um, higher in good healthy fats. So we're going to um, set the oven at 375 degrees. And for the pie crust, rather, we're going to do some blanched almond flour um, that's delicious. You can find it at any um, grocery store nowadays. We're going to use some of the jeweled dates that are pitted, a pinch of salt. We're going to do a little bit of vanilla extract. Um, you can get the bourbon kind at Trader Joe's. That's pretty good. We're going to do some pumpkin pie spice. Um, seasoning, a little bit of coconut palm sugar, which is lower in sugar but higher in flavor than traditional table sugar, and we're also going to use some coconut oil that's been melted down um, at room temperature, and that's all for the crust. For the pie filling, we're going to use some organic pumpkin uh, puree. You want to make sure that it's not the pumpkin pie filling already prepared. Um, the puree. We're going to do um, some almond milk. Uh, we're going to do some pumpkin pie spice again. Again, another bit of vanilla extract and a bigger portion of coconut palm sugar for that uh, pie filling. And everything should come together well. So we're going to get started by putting the almond flour in the uh, food processor here. And um, if you don't have a food processor, um, you could use your blender, but make sure it's a high-powered blender. We'll put in the medjool dates, um, our salt, and we're going to put in our vanilla extract. And we'll also put in our uh, sugar here. And finally, uh, some pumpkin spice. And, oh, can't forget the coconut oil put that in as well. And all that is going to go on the food processor and blend up well. The texture you're looking for here is crumbly but still moist to the touch so that it can pat down um, once you put it into your pie tin. You'll use your hands to create the crust and kind of spread it out evenly with your fingers all the way up the sides of the tin until you create a nice pretty uh, crust just like this. And you see like those spots that are there, those are the dates that have been chopped up. So um, it makes for a nice yummy um, crust. So now we've added the uh, pumpkin puree into the food processor. We're putting our sugar in here. And um, we're going to put our spices in. Next up is the vanilla. And we'll follow that up with our milk. Get that nice creamy milk. And that's just original almond milk. Uh, you could use vanilla if you wanted to. I think it would add to the flavor pretty good. And that's going to go into the um, onto the processor and whip up nicely. Now you could use um, two eggs or you could use two flax eggs. If you don't know how to make a flax egg, I could post a video for you to show you how to do that if you want this to be a totally plant-based um, pumpkin pie. Um, and it won't change the flavor at all with the flax egg. Um, those uh, flavors from the pumpkin spice and everything will definitely shine through um, and it, your family won't even notice the difference. They won't know that there's um, been an egg substitute. Okay guys, so now we're going to take that pumpkin pie, put it in the oven and bake it for about 55 minutes. And then once it's finished, take it out of the oven and allow it to cool for half an hour at room temperature. Once you do that, place it in the refrigerator for at a minimum of two hours to allow it to cool um, and to finish gelling together um, and holding up as a pie should. And then after that, you can serve it with some fresh coconut milk ice cream or um, uh, whipped cream or however you want to top it off, and it will be delicious. So make sure that you share this video um, series with your friends and let them know about the Cozy Comfort series. And um, I have a special surprise for you coming up in a couple of days, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye. If you want a printout of this recipe, I'll send it to you right away. Just click on the link below or visit www.cozycomfortseries.com. 